There would be a time and a place for speed, there'd be a time and a place for ecstasy. Cocaine was my drug of choice, no question, but Valium played a huge part in that. Is that it's it's through those tough moments, those tough days, times when I wanted to get on, was I knew at the end of that one week block, two week block, or even sometime as long as a month, I was going to absolutely annihilate and launch into as much drugs drug as use, I could. My drug use in some respects was in control, but the, the level of it was out of control. I think day two is better than day one, and day three is better than day two. Day four is better than day three. Day five is better than day four. And they go, well, mate, we got to go home and have a rest. I said, well, I spent 10 grand and five days of hard work into where I'm now. I'm not going to go home and throw it all down the drain. You know, it was just that silly sort of half humour, half just madness. I want to those whom I have offended to publicly say, I'm sorry. I also want to say it's just not me to give offence to other people, no matter who they are. I'm not a person who judges others or speaks in a way that hurts feelings of others. My comments were thoughtless and careless. But I can assure you, when I made those comments on Twitter, I never intended to offend anybody. No matter who people are, what they can or can't do, they are entitled to the dignity that we expect for ourselves. I broke basic rules of courtesy to others and consideration for others, and for that I am truly sorry. I think you know, oh, I think a lot's happened in the past couple of days and and I've obviously felt pretty terrible about it and um, I think today was probably the more appropriate day for me because I have been so emotional about it and um, I, th I just really owe it to every everyone to apologise for what's happened and I want people to know how sorry I am for what's happened. Good afternoon. The Cronulla Sharks NRL team is refusing to name the other players involved in the sex scandal that's destroyed the career of Matthew Johns. The rugby league identity has apologised to the woman at the centre of the 2002 incident but maintains he's not committed any crime. One of the worst nights of his life, Matthew Johns emerges from his Sydney home to tell Seven News he's trying to move on with his life. Sydney home to tell Seven News he's trying to move on with his life, but that might be difficult. Seven years after Johns and a group of his Cronulla Rugby League teammates had sex with a 19-year-old girl, he finally apologised for the hurt he caused her. You know, any trauma and embarrassment that she's gone through as a result of this, this incident I'm extremely sorry for. During an agonising TV interview with wife Trish by his side, the former NRL star admitted what happened in a Christchurch hotel room in 2002 was morally wrong but insists he did not abuse the young woman in any way. The woman was a willing participant in what went on. They used a lot of like, mental power over me and, and, and belittled me and made me feel really small, like I was just a, a little old woman. New Zealand police have confirmed they won't reopen investigations into the case, having already cleared all players of wrongdoing. Left to take the heat alone, John's career is in tatters. He's been stood down from his television job, as well as from his coaching commitments with the Melbourne Storm, decisions the Prime Minister says he supports. It's very important for sporting organisations across the country to show uh, leadership and in demonstrating proper respect towards, towards women. Elsewhere, Johns is under increasing pressure to name the other men involved. You'd think the mates would save him the trouble by doing the right thing, by coming forward. The scandal has made headlines right around the world, threatening irreparable damage to rugby league's reputation. A sex scandal is rocking Australia's National Rugby League and prompting the suspension of TV commentator and former rugby league star Matthew Johns. John says his focus now is family. I'm going to go away and make it up to my wife and make it up to my family. It's pretty much been living hell, I would imagine. Would be the best way of describing it.